if Gant stays here, somebody's gonna die. 23 times John Gant had dueled with death and won. Always legally, always fairly. Why didn't you kill me? I wasn't paid to. 59's western No Name on the Bullet starts with a lean, dark stranger riding across a beautiful western landscape. He stops off at a farm to ask directions to the town of Lodzburg. Well spoken, polite, dressed all in black and mysterious. But who is he and what does he want? Well, his name is John Gant, Audie Murphy, in an unusual role, playing against type as a notorious hired killer. He's on his way to Lordsburg and he's got business to take care of. Word of his arrival in town spreads quickly and so does fear. Like a virus, it infects the good townsfolk of Lordsburg, setting tongues are wagging and hearts are racing. Everyone seems to know John Gant's name and more importantly his reputation. He's killed over 20 men they say and all with the same MO. He comes into town then bides his time waiting for his man to make the first move before completing his business in a so-called self-defence. Soon the whole town is gripped in a frenzy of sweaty paranoia, even turning on each other in suspicion and panic. Wild accusations fly about and self-preservation kicks in. Meanwhile Gant sits back in his hotel drinking coffee and watches with apparent sadistic amusement as the town tears itself apart, seemingly indifferent to the collateral damage he's inflicting around him. He's in no hurry, he's waiting for his prey to come to him. What does he want? Who is he after? These are the questions in everyone's minds. The whole town seems to have a guilty past or dirty secret they've been hiding, and now feel they've got a big target painted on their back. The only man not worried in town is doctor and blacksmith Luke Canefield, Charles Drake, who is busy cleaning up the emotional and physical scars left by Gant's arrival. He's so relaxed he even plays a game of chess with Gant and can't see the man for the cold-blooded killer he's made out to be. Softly spoken, educated, philosophical even, he could be a teacher or a lawyer if it wasn't for the gun. Drake tries to stop Gant by making him see the wrong in his actions, but Gant justifies himself by stating all his targets are guilty in some way, and have escaped justice up until now. The two have some great moral exchanges and form a kind of bond which under other circumstances might have been a friendship. Directed by Jack Arnold, known more for science fiction classics such as Creature from the Black Lagoon and The Incredible Shrinking Man, does a fine job here in a completely contrasting genre. He directs smoothly, calmly letting the tension simmer and stew, while the audience tries to guess who's Gant's intended victim. But a modestly budgeted Universal Murphy Star vehicle, no name on the bullet, is a classy production, beautifully shot in cinemascope and extremely well written. It's a calmly engrossing psychological western drama, with a fine supporting cast making up for its infrequent low-key bouts of action. The action here is a drama being provided by a strong cast of characters who all have their own individual side stories to tell. Director Arnold cleverly weaves a rich tapestry of human frailties and emotions into a really fine western drama. Fear can drive people to desperate measures, in one case even suicide, which Gant foresees and callously does nothing to stop. Murphy, playing against type, is extremely effective in the role of Gant, underplaying nicely and thereby giving nothing away. Like a snake, he squeezes and squeezes until his victim runs out of air. Cynical, cold-hearted, despising of men's duplicity, give him an honest man and he will respect him. So who will stop Gant? The aging but dutiful sheriff, played wonderfully by Willis Bouchy, the rash townsfolk or the moralistic physician. Well, it's all sorts itself out nicely in the end, with an unexpected but somewhat appropriate conclusion. So a really solid, enjoyable little western, I give no name on the bullet, 7.5 western stars out of 10. A really good watch. Thanks for watching and bye for now.